Hello, people. My name is Kristen Kaufman. For those of y'all whom I've not met, and I'm in the business of helping people create the lives they want without giving up the creature comforts that they want. And no, they are not mutually exclusive. And no, not wanting creature comforts or wanting creature comforts, I should say, is not the evil wish of all wishes. We all live on this planet. We all have the capability and capacity to create the lives we want. And yes, that can include having nice things and creature comforts that help make our life as beautiful and warm and fuzzy as we would like it. For those of y'all who I've not met, I'm a recovering corporate executive, a turned entrepreneur a little bit over 15 years ago. I've written three best-selling books. I'm a keynote speaker. And my passion and uh, joy in life now is helping other people reach their potential and however they define that and to create the lives that they want. So today, I actually wanted to look the tiger in the eye and to ask you, if you are indeed not just over the moon happy with your life, specifically your professional life and how you are choosing to contribute in the world, what is holding you back? What has got you stuck in the mud, so to speak? Because what I can assure you is that time waits for no one. So if we are delaying what I would call the inevitable aha moment, that maybe we are not in the right um, career for our skill set or perhaps what is going to make us most fulfilled or perhaps really what we love the most, then the only person who can change that trajectory is ourselves. So there are three things I wanted to talk about today. The first is whatever it is that has you stuck, let's just tackle that. Let's tackle that. It's all happening between our two ears right here in our brain. Whatever's holding us back is probably not outside of ourselves. It's probably within ourselves. So the first thing, because I can speak from personal experience here, is fear of failing or fear of stumping our toes, so to speak. You know, when I went out on my own, frankly, I had no clue what I was doing. I remember I did what my daddy told me never to do, and that was I left a job without having another. And um, that's why well, I'm sure many of us were reared with that philosophy. So I was out on my own and I had to find a way to create new revenue stream, new income stream, new business. And I was bound and determined to do something that was aligned with what was going to make me fulfilled and that was going to be aligned to my strengths. But boy, howdy, it was scary. And I was scared. I was scared that I was going to fail. I was scared I was going to, people were going to laugh at me, that they were, and, and many people did. Many people thought I'd lost my ever-loving mind for leaving my big job at the height of my career. Really, I was in the prime of my corporate career, and I left, and I never looked back. I had what a lot of us refer to as a peace that passed all understanding. Did that erase the fear? No. But what I knew is that if I really wanted to pursue what was gonna ultimately make me happy and fulfilled, I had to look that tiger in the eye and I had to power through whatever fears I had. So how did I do that? Well, I hired a leadership coach and Ann Deaton, if you're watching this, you know who you are. She counseled me and helped me tremendously to craft out what I wanted my life to look like, to have the courage to embrace that and to lean into that and to create that. So I hired a coach. I did the hard work. I actually looked deep within. I did not let the surface and societal conventional definitions of success define what success was going to be for me. And then I plodded along and proceeded to try to make that happy, happen. So that's the first thing. Fear of failure oftentimes will hold us back. And I'm really trying to encourage you to look the tiger in the eye, surround yourself with a posse of people that can help you navigate what your new reality is going to look like, and then go forth and conquer. Okay, the second, the second thing. Oftentimes when we have a vision of where we want to go, we will make all kinds of excuses of how and why we're not going to do that right now. We're going to do it tomorrow. We're going to do it next year. And what I'm here to tell you, we are not guaranteed next year. We certainly are not guaranteed tomorrow. So there is nothing um, more potent than the cliche of the time is now. There is no time like now, you know, carpe diem. And I'm here to tell you that making the excuses just delays the inevitable reality, as I've mentioned before, that we are going to have to face at some point. I remember when I was writing my second book, 
and I was having a massive writer's block, which many of you all who are writers will know what I'm talking about. And I mean, I did everything to try to jog that out. I literally folded my underwear drawer. I emptied the dishwasher. I dusted baseboards. <laughs> I did all of this crazy stuff just to try to get out of the mind block and to delay or to deny what I ultimately needed to do, which was to write. So all of the excuses and the, you know, the, um, I'm gonna put it off, I'm gonna just delay the inevitable. Ultimately, as we used to say in college, that pony will come back around on that merry-go-round. It will come back around. So what we resist will persist. And we have to finally, you know, just, just take the action, just take the action. So not make the excuses. And the last thing that I will say, three things out of three, start today. Even if it's just a baby step, start today. I mean, I know that like when I was trying to lose all this weight a couple of years ago, I kept saying, I'm going to wait till, you know, the holidays are over. I'm going to wait till after this wedding that I'm going to go to. And ultimately tomorrow never came. And there was always something else out there that was going to tempt me to go off my new way of living. And it wasn't till, till I took the plunge and I said, you know what? This is my new life. It could start today or it could start next week, but regardless, it's gonna to have to start. So why not start today? If I fall off, I'm gonna pick myself right back up and I'm gonna get back on. It doesn't mean that I'm going to fail. I may have a little hiccup here and there, but it doesn't mean that I'm going to fail. So for those of you who are listening to this video and you are not where you wanna be in your life, in your business, how you look, how you feel, whatever is subpar, it's not exactly as you would like it to be, we own that. So take the reins. There are three things. Release the fear of failure. There is really no such thing as failure. They're all lessons that we're supposed to be learning if we, if we stump our toe. And if people make fun of you and laugh at you, that's more about them than it is about you. The second thing is the excuses and trying to push things out and procrastinating, you know, Again, you can keep pushing that, kicking that can down the road, and someday you're going to come to the end of the road and that can's going to still be there. So, you know, negate the excuses and embrace the day. Carpe diem, right? And then the last thing is, let's just do it. Let's just create the life that we want. And I would love to help you. So if this has gotten you thinking and maybe a little bit energized, or if you're rolling your eyes and saying, yeah, it's easy for her to say, she's done it. No, I'm still doing it every single day. I have surrounded myself with a bunch of coaches that are supporting me and helping me and pushing me and teaching me and challenging me. And there are mornings when I wake up where I like, really, do I really have to do this again? But I push through. And then at the end of the day, I'm thrilled that I did because I am absolutely creating the life that I wanted for myself. So again, my name is Kristen Kaufman and I'm in the business of helping people just like you Create the lives that you want without losing the creature comforts that you want. And yes, it is possible. And the first step is to take the first step and let go of the fear, embrace it actually, and know that if you do fail, it's only a lesson that's going to catapult you to the next big thing. If this has helped you at all, I'm going to put my, my links below, click on them, follow me. I would love for you to follow me on, on YouTube. I do these videos on a regular basis. It might give you a couple of uh, tips and techniques that will help you as you embrace life. And if you're not really sure what you want to do or how you want to do it, I do offer some assessments that might also help clear the cobwebs. So again, just look below on my links, click on them, follow me, and I would love to be your partner as we embrace life as we desire to create it. Make it a great day.